Hello, everyone. Myself, Dr. Yash, Hemant Kumar Nagarya, JR2 from the Department of Radio Diagnosis from DY Patel Hospital, Kolhapur. My paper presentation topic is USG Evaluation of Gynecological Muscle in Correlation with Multi-Detector CT Scan. An introduction and the need for study. Gynecological muscle lesions are common among the women of menstrual and the post-menstrual age group. Approximately 20% of women will develop a gynecological mass at some time in their life. Masses are one of the most common presentations of gynecological pathology and can range from benign masses like a simple cyst to malignant masses like ovarian or uterine carcinomas. Gynecology often face difficulty in treating the gynecological mass as differential diagnosis is difficult and complex. Also, the nature of the gynecological mass needs to be classified as benign or malignant planning appropriate treatment. Although majority of the pelvic mass was diagnosed as benign, 5-10% to 10 are diagnosed as malignant, which is the fifth most common cause of cancer in death in the world, in the women worldwide. Aim of a study, describe the morphology of gynecological masses such as size, consistency, position and structure of origin, which helps in differential diagnosis. To assess the relative role of USG and CT in evolution of gynecological masses, Note the advantage of CT over USG in evolution of masses. Process the role of CT in evaluating sonological indeterminate masses. Inclusion criteria is adult patient uh, who is age above 18 years attending our hospital with a clinical suspicion of gynecological masses. Second, a patient who was detected with a gynecological masses incidentally on ultrasonography. Exclusion criteria includes pregnant patient with masses or clinically or sonologically proved cases of ectopic pregnancy. My sample size is of 45 patients. Material methods. Consent was taken for the each case. A 2D ultrasonography machine, a logic IQ, effort expert, GE Healthcare, uh, with color Doppler is used. On CACD of the abdomen pelvis using Siemens 128 slice, plane and dual phase study done with the arterial phase at 20 to 40 seconds and venous phase at 70 to 90 seconds. This section taken with a slice thickness of 1.5 mm. Results and analysis. Number of patients are uh, generally uh, 13 premenopausal and 32 menopausal. Spectrum of uterine masses. Out of, uh, we have seen five word. On number of cases detected on USG are, is 11. And number of cases detected on CT is also 11. Endometrial, endometrial polyp. Three cases were detected on SONO and three cases detected on CT. Adenomyosis, both have seen the three patients detected on SONO as well as on CT. Endometrial carcinoma, uh, three patients are detected on the ultrasonography, whereas four patients detected on the CT scan. Cervical carcinoma, out of all patients, four patients detected on ultrasonography and five patients detected on CT. Inconclusive result is only the two patient in the USG and there is no inconclusive result in the CT. Uh, for the cases of simple ovarian cyst, we have detected equal number on CT and the USG. Complex ovarian cyst, three patient detected on USG and three on CT. Hemorrhagic cyst, two detected on USG and two detected on CT. Ovarian neoplasm, seven detected on CT, seven detected on ultrasonography, there is six detected on CT. Malignant ovarian neoplasm, uh, two patients detected on ultrasonography, whereas three patients detected on CT scan. To wear Tivo ovarian mass, both share the same page number of patients, that is one. Inconclusive, there is zero on both sides. Discussion Uterine fibroid. Uterine fibroid is uterine fibroid is generally on transverse ultrasonography, we can see. Uh, it doesn't show hypoechoic mass to the, uh, to the myometria on the posterior wall and in, in uh, disrupting the, in the posterior myometria causing the tissue and hypoechoic mass. But on CT scan, we are able to see mass based with soft cystic density, peripheral exhibition is seen, and is distorting the normal contour of the uterus. Adenomyosis. And in my regular uterine enlargement, myometrial thickening. And there is a myometrial cyst with, with a key specific feature of the adenomyosis. We are able to slice 
experience, which is also a characteristic, one of the characteristic features of Edgewell Myosis. And we are uh, there's an interesting myometrial myometrial interface, uh, which is also a interesting feature of the CD scan uh, of USG on a day of every myosis. Endometrial point with the hyperequate mass and the characteristically interrupt the endometrium endometrial line interface to surface. So this is a generic thing about any lesion. 3 to 8 centimeter in size, 3 to 8 centimeter in size, sludge or any trace of the solid mass in the, in the cyst. In the CT scan, we have seen simple two density cyst of less than 50 inch. If there is a complex situation of the cyst present, hemorrhagic cyst, hemorrhagic cyst on USG, thin walls, multiple septation, and bone level echoes are also present. Serious stenoma. CT is the regular mass of seeing the homogeneous elimination within regular cyst walls. This is the CT scan of the patient's stenoma. Uh, this is large cystic adrenal, ad, large cystic adnexal mass with multilocular within walls, which is seen. This is the representation of the carcinoma on ultrasound as well as the CT scan. And this is the representation of the adult carcinoma. New representation image of ultrasound dysgerminoma. Conclusion Uterine among the uterine cells benign are common, mainly fibroids predominantly in the age group of 31 to 45 years. Among ovarian mass, benign are common, predominant in age group of 31 to 45 years. Both uterine and ovarian malignancy are common and the predominantly at the age of more than 60 years. Size of the mass is then 5 cm, such a lesion in the solid component. Benign from the malignant lesion on USG with a sensitivity of 84.5% and the specificity of 87.6%. On CT findings such as tumor size of more than 5 cm, bilateral thick wall that is more than 3 mm, thick septa more than 3 mm, solid component. Papillary projection, mural nodule, septal enhancement, ascites, local regional invasions, lymph node involvement, distant metabolism so helps to activate intervention malignant from benign lesion with a sensitivity of 97% and specificity of 91%. CT also helps in the staging of the tumor in cases of malignancy. These are my references. Thank you.